Hi everyone. Veracity seems to be the hot project on everybody's lips at the moment. Um, I have been looking for an entry myself. It gives 25% stake and reward, which is kind of nice. And that's ongoing until March. So I just want to do a really quick bit of uh, technical analysis uh, if you're looking for an entry. And where I've been basically trying to get an entry with some upside targets that I've already looked at. But the first thing to consider if you're looking for an entry is that we have actually had a 500% pump from the bottom on the 20th of July. Right up to the top here, 547% pump from the bottom to the top. Now, we are having a correction. It's a little bit overextended. As you can see here, on the 21 day moving average from the top, we were 33% overextended. So every time you get these big gaps from the 21 day moving average, we usually come back down towards it, along with the seven, as you can see here. Uh, so we are gonna come down back to the seven and meet it. Now, the, the targets I mentioned a few days ago on Twitter uh, were around the four cents, four two cents range. And if you go to the hourly view, we actually have um, a neck and shoulders playing out right here. So what you've got is the shoulder, the head, the shoulder. So it's basically a lower high from this one. That's the neckline of a target, which we've now hit for an entry, if you're looking for it, is basically the distance from the top of the head to the neckline from the breakout area, where we've gone down through the neckline. And as you can see, we have hit that area. So that's, that's good. This is where you want to be getting entries. It can definitely go down further. So we'll look at the fib. But currently, it's kind of a good entry point, assuming it continues. Just bear in mind, remember, it has had a 500% move. So back to the daily. Now, what you want to check here is the Fibonacci retracement. So from the bottom, on the 20th of July, to the recent local top. What you want to be looking for is a correction into this area here. Uh, the first line of defense is the 0 0.0399, which is why I have put limit orders in um, at the four cents area, because I could recognize if it's overextended from the seven day moving average and the 21. You can see last time it got overextended by 30 odd percent from the seven, it came right back down. At this point, it was actually 44% overextended from the 21 day moving average so it's coming down whether you like it or not but that's good gives us an opportunity to get that entry there's a chance that it will form another bull flag as well and not only that we've actually hit our first upside target of four and a half cents and the upside targets if we continue to pump after having this little correction the next target would be uh, five and a half cents and after that impulse wave, assuming continuation, we'll be looking at eight and a half cents. So there's a potential double on the table from where we are now. You can tell the formal train is in full swing. We've been maintaining um, being above that seven day moving average and the 21. Staying above this means you are in a bull run and that the formal train is in full swing. There you have it. Try and get your orders in between um, 4.2 cents down to probably about 3.7 uh, cents. So not point not three seven dollars I think that's going to be a good entry. However, if it does correct, don't panic. We're having a bull run. Everything is going to go to the moon by the end of the cycle. And Hopefully, my price prediction um, for VRA is actually anywhere between 50 to 75 cents. So there's a lot of potential upside. 
and that is entirely dependent on the project success and roadmap. Um, so hope you found that um, helpful. Try and get your entries in this range here and get it staked on Veracity Wallet for your 25%. As always, though, this is not financial advice. If you buy it and it goes down 200% tomorrow, well, that's just what happens, right? Like, if it goes back down to three cents, for me, that is a perfect buying opportunity. This is a perfect area, the gold D-lock zone for entries. But given its performance, I don't think it's going to get down there. I do think it's going to continue on to the next upside target after this consolidation and hit five and a half cents. Thanks for watching and get your bids in. Thank you.